everyone, it's Asian Boss Girl. My name is Mel. I'm Helen. And I'm Janet. And in our most recent episode of the podcast, we had a really nice conversation with our friend Olivia Liang, who plays Nikki Shen on the new CW series, Kung Fu. Premieres on Wednesday, 8, 7 Central on the CW, or you can stream it for free the next day. This episode is also sponsored by the new CW series, Kung Fu. We were quite inspired by our conversation with Olivia about her new role as an awesome, ass-kicking Asian-American female. Yeah. And given recent events, we also thought it would be a good idea for us to learn some self-defense moves mm -hmm. and also give martial arts a try. Yes, so we call up our good friend whom you might recognize from his acting work in Ender's Game, Tropic Thunder, An Incredible Crew, and also Watson Productions movie and shorts including Asian Doctor 2 and Everything Before Us. He's also garnered a large following on TikTok. Ooh. Please welcome Brandon Suhu! Yay! Yay! What's up, guys? Yeah. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here. Brandon is also a trained martial artist and also a huge advocate of self-defense. So Brandon, why are you so passionate about self-defense? I think in general, self-defense is just a really important life skill to have. Mm -hmm. So no matter where you are, any circumstance, you can feel safe and secure because that's just our human right. Is like you should always feel safe yeah. and able to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. Um, it's because also not all the time the police will be there to help you right when you need it and you won't always have someone to help you like someone in the public to help you. So I think it's really important to be able to depend on yourself and just feel secure in your own abilities and training. Mm -hmm. And I think right now during these times with like the recent events with Asian American hate crimes mm -hmm. and stuff like that, it's of utmost importance for especially us to feel safe walking around in public. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I'd like to show you guys some stuff to help you feel secure. Yes, for sure. Well, I'm excited to try this out. Yeah, I'm ready yeah. too. Yes. Let's go learn some self-defense. Let's, Let's do it. Go. Let's go. Okay, so you spot the possible threat with your situational awareness. You've already made a verbal cue that you don't want them to approach, and they're still approaching you, okay? So now you've identified that is an undesirable person, that is a possible threat. You alert people around you just in case someone's down to help or could just testify as a witness if things get bad. Um, so, you know, first, these are all the things you want to try to establish before things get bad, if you notice this person. Um, and this person keeps coming forward, coming forward, so okay, you might have to get into something physical. So, I would get into my typical Muay Thai stance, feet shoulder width apart, legs nice and balanced, and I take a little step back, so I'm pretty unshakable if you push me. And my hands go up, in almost a way I'm saying like, yo, don't hurt me, or I don't want any trouble, but your hands are in a perfect position to actually defend yourself and fight back. So your hands are up here protecting your face. This is called the Muay Thai guard. Now if they keep on coming forward, your verbal cues don't work, and the guard isn't really keeping them off you, you try throwing kicks. So this is called the Muay Thai seat. You bring your knee up, you jut out your uh, the ball of your foot into their stomach or their solar plexus, and if you can't go that high, hitting the, the quads or the penis is also pretty effective. So you're backing up, backing up, don't, don't bother me, blah, blah. You throw the push kick, you back up, you back up, bam. So this is all to protect yourself, to keep space around you, to keep distance from that person, and to give them something to think about so maybe you're not like the right chica to mess with. All right guys, so let's uh, try to do a couple of these Muay Thai push kicks. So get into your fighting stance, hands up, feet shoulder width apart, nice and balanced, little bend in your knees, okay? And I want you to pick up either of your knees. Let's do the left knee first, right? Pick up that left knee and extend it outwards. And you're hitting with the ball of your foot right here. And you're using that as a spear. You're stabbing them in the stomach, in the chest. You could even, you know, flick at the, the pee pee. <laughs> All right. I want you guys to repeat after me. Three words, okay? Repeat after me. Flick the pee pee. Flick the pee pee. Exactly. Now flick oh, it. Get it. <laughs> flick the. <laughs> Boom. Nice, Mel. Up, up. Boom. Oh, nice, Mel. Nice. Nice. Good job. All right, hop in. Three each leg. Boom. Boom. Nice. Boom. Really effective. Flick the pee pee. <laughs> With spears, try spearing first. Yep, nice. And drive it in. Up. Nice. nice. That was a really solid one. Muay Thai push kick, baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So that's the first weapon of Muay Thai that I would suggest for self-defense. Sometimes that's not enough to keep the person off of you. So something that I like to use is the clinch, the Muay Thai clinch. I think it's a really effective way of being able to keep yourself safe and controlling the opponent and still letting yourself be able to hit them back. And um, you can use weapons that are really bony. They don't take a lot of muscle to use, but they're very destructive and very damaging, like the knees and the elbows. So a demonstration of the Muay Thai clinch um, in application. So if you would come towards me and you would try to like grab me or hug me, I would get inside here. I would maybe control her neck. I would try to control her arm. And now there's not a lot of stuff she could do to attack me. So I would want to maybe pull her in to my knees. And once I hit her, and now there's a little bit of space, I could follow up with that, that, get her away, and be like, Help! 
So now the roles are reversed. I'm gonna try to come in for like an unwanted hug. So if I'm coming here, you wanna put your hand right here on my shoulder, right? So now you have that frame between us and you could also like try to grab me there. And now you have a really good kind of crank to pull me into your knee. Boom, boom. So you wanna hold me there. And so now I'm trying to hit you so you can kind of counter that by coming in. So boom, you throw the knee and you can let go and follow it with an elbow. Boom, and that feels really bad. That's really easy to shatter a nose. Boom, boom. And you could get up and say like, hey, someone call the cops. Boom, boom. Ah, oh, I hit myself. Nice. That's good. Hup. Boom, boom. Really powerful knee, that's good. Boom, 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 Hup. boom. Hey. Nice. <laughs> Throw that elbow. Boom, really good elbow, nice. Boom, 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 boom. Hey. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, hey, hey. Nice. I'm Dude, not angry. Some, yeah, there was some angry there. You good? Hey, bam, bam, bam. Hey, boom, boom, boom. And back. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> you showed that aggressor. And that is the Muay Thai clinch. So, um, yeah, that's stuff that I would recommend. But obviously, getting into some kind of physical altercation is dangerous, and that's the last resort. It's something that I definitely wouldn't recommend is trying to hit someone with your bare hands. Um, ideally, you would have something to help you, which is like a weapon or something that we call like a force multiplier. You have things like pepper spray, which is good because you don't really need any training. It's very effective and you can hit someone from a distance. You can keep them away, you're safe, and it's very incapacitating, very painful to deal with pepper spray. So that's like the ideal weapon that I would say to use for self-defense. But yeah, you, you can't always rely on a weapon. You can't always rely on someone else to help you or the police, but what you can rely on is your own brain and your own abilities and your training. So I think first and foremost, um, train, prepare, and count on yourself to be safe. Okay, first, prior disclosure, I'm not a Kung Fu specialist. So this is the amount of Kung Fu that I know, and I can still show you a couple of cool things, but uh, I'm not like a Kung Fu expert by any means. But um, yeah, here's a couple things that I do know. So first, I could show you the pinwheel arm, which is a pretty standard move in Kung Fu, but we're gonna do a pinwheel into a drop stance. Okay, so first to start off with, you want your feet pretty wide, maybe like not super wide, but or like a little more than a shoulder width apart. And you want your arms to be straight because straight looks nice and pretty. So our arms are gonna be moving in this plane, not in this plane. So try to keep them along in this direction if possible. So you wanna keep them straight. I'm gonna start off by turning to the right and bring my left arm in a circle and my right arm in a circle, bring it over here. And on the other direction, bring my right arm in a circle, left arm, and bring it down. Now we're gonna incorporate the drop into it. So my feet are shoulder width apart. I'm taking a deep front stance this way, and I'm dropping this hand that way. And I'm brushing against this knee to maintain myself on this plane. I'm establishing that. Just kind of lightly brushing that knee. Boom. Bring it over, bring my left hand over, and that's gonna come down. So full speed. And that's the uh, windmill into a drop stance. Get in that facing forward, shoulder width apart. And then do the front stance. Slowly bring that arm around. Pull it nice and smooth. Make sure your arms are nice and equal. And drop. Pull it. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. yeah. like a little slippery snake out you. Ooh. Yeah. Like drop. you guys is the butterfly kick it's a really pretty move and also pretty easy to learn and it's really useful in kung fu to kind of combo into other things like an aerial or a butterfly twist so i'm gonna bring my chest up and i'm gonna bring my leg up straight because if it's nice and straight it looks elegant and pretty so bam and this lifting motion is what the strength of the butterfly kick comes from five <laughs> six I love like big guys. Nice. seven eight all right, so the next step to this exercise, after we learn this driving straight leg motion like so, we're gonna face away from the bench and we're gonna put our hands on it like here and lift. And we're gonna let our left leg come up behind it. So it's gonna follow. We're gonna let the force of this kick carry this leg too. So, so both legs come up. All right, so in one motion. Let's yep. Yeah! Just like that. Oh. Nice. Best one so far. Yes! Nice. Thank you. Thank you. Looks good. Looks good. Hey. All right. Boom. 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 Boom.
Yeah. Yeah. Damn, that was really hard. Yeah, my left leg literally is shaking right now. Oof. Let's watch the pro do it now. Let's go. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> So much for joining us today we hope you were able to learn some moves or at least get in a good laugh and thank you so much brandon for being an amazing teacher teaching us self-defense and kung fu moves thank you brandon thank, thank you, you guys <laughs> thanks for having me you guys were all excellent students <laughs> an excellent teacher yep make sure to tune into new cw series kung fu it premieres on a wednesday 8 7 central on the cw catch it for free streaming the next day and if you haven't already check out our newest episode that just came out on thursday where we talked with olivia about this role and her working that hollywood grind as an asian female actress We'll catch you all in the next video. Bye. Uh, what do you want? What up, baby? Hey, hey, what stay, up, baby? Stay away, stay over there. Uh -huh. Hey guys, I don't like this shit. Uh, I don't. She's doing some weird things. I don't like this. Yo, I'm stay away. I you. said, stay away. Oh. 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 There's a little uh, bounce back on this yeah. thing. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't like this. I don't like this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm ticklish.